Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to put together the Crafit 3D printer organizer and leave you with some thoughts based on my initial use of this product. It should be able to hold most standard size printers as long as it fits between 22, 21, and 28 inches. The power strip has two additional spots one for your printer and one for some other accessory. Here we've got the good sized AC exhaust fan and it actually comes with the conduit for the rear to pipe it out. Here you can see it with the lights turned on. There's also, if you turn off the main light, a backlight around the fan, which adds really kind of a nice effect. We've got the storage at the top for eight spools, and here you can also see the controller that tells you the temperature um, as well as the humidity inside the unit. And again, another look at the storage below. It comes with an assembly manual and everything is labeled really quite nicely as you can see here. Here I'm starting with the panel, it'll be the right side. The kit comes of course with all the bolts that you need to assemble. It also comes with a set of tools, um, Allen wrenches and two screwdrivers as needed. After bolting those panels in, uh, then the exhaust fan or the backside exhaust fan gets bolted in as well. And here you can see I've just laid it down on the floor and then it gets bolted in with the same bolts through the side as you can see I'm doing here. And then the legs need to be installed. You can see I've placed it here. Here you can see I install the back brace for the shelf and this way, or rather this is what the screws screw into which holds the legs to the frame as well. And here I'm installing the other support which allows me to finish installing the bolts which hold the legs to this side. And again, this is quite easy. And then once that's done, bolt in the bottom shelf as well. And then bolt in the control panel slash lighting unit. Just takes two bolts per side. And then slide the two back panels in, in the grooves between the shelf and the circulation fan. And then Lay the other side of the shelving unit and the legs that you've assembled on top of everything that's come together so far and bolt this whole thing together. I've eliminated all the audio because tools like this drill are just absolutely annoying to hear within a video. So hopefully you appreciate the quietness. And then bolt on all four feet. Here you can see I've attached the spool holders up above. Unless you live in a really dry climate or your shelving unit sits in a room that is humidity controlled, you may not want to store empty spools this way. I'm going to end up taking these out to get as many spools in here as possible that are sealed. And then we need to install the doors. And then after taking the protective coating off from the doors, uh, we insert or attach the door handles. Once that's been done for all four doors, then you need to go in and attach the door stops and these use magnets so it's a metal plate that bolts in right here one thing i wish uh this cabinet had this upper area with a filament 
is not lit. It'd be really nice if it had some LED lighting that was attached to the lighting below. And then once those are done, make sure you install the lower door stops as well. There's a top and a bottom to both openings or to all sets of doors. And then attach the power strip with the two wood screws. And then attach the fan power, the LED lighting power, and then plug in the controller into the power strip. And then attach the self-adhesive wire looms to the top and back of the cabinet and run the wiring through the looms. Make it nice and neat. You can have some freedom of adjustment here. And then install the ventilation pipe mount. Simply screws in with four wood screws. And then you can plug the entire unit in. And once you do, you can give it a little test. You can turn on the power. And here you can see it's showing us the humidity and temperature. This isn't a dehumidifier. It simply shows us the humidity, uh, which is just as promised. And here I'm testing the fan. In a future version of this, it'd be super nice to have the fan be adjustable in terms of speed, but this will do. In most cases, you'll simply turn this on for about five minutes or less and then turn it off again. It's not something you're really going to leave on. And as you saw me, just use the light switch as well. Here's a light that turns on using the switch I just showed you. And I turn it off, and there's the LED lighting from behind the fan as too, which looks super sharp. So here you can see I've placed some filament in here. There are holes that feed the filament down to the printer if your printer can accept filament that way. Here's a reasonable size printer and a shelf on the bottom. Uh, something I stated before, and you can see here, these are not airtight doors. There's nothing really wrong with that. It would be kind of nice if they were in a future version, but I also understand that really puts the shelf in a completely different price range. That said, it does help quite a bit with noise. It's really convenient. It provides a lot of storage space as well. And um, I, I'm really liking the shelf. It's turning out to be a real space saver and really convenient. And so right now I'm really happy I have this. I wouldn't mind having at least two more as, uh, again, it is a space saver. And I've got several other printers I can fit in one of these. And uh, it's pretty nice. It's nice looking. And uh, here you can see I'm storing both my filament below and above all wrapped. If you found this video useful, please click subscribe and see below in my description for a link to the shelf. Thank you.